Hey guys, Mix Media Girl here. So I got this uh, color pour paint pouring kit from Hobby Lobby a while ago. And truth be told, I was not a fan of it at all. However, I do have paint left here and I don't want to waste it. So I'm going to go ahead and do a paint pour using um, just the, the rest of the colors that I have here. And I am going to also use some of their, oops, their Cell Magic. Now this looks like it kind of leaked all over the place. Um, so I'm just going to put a few drops in some of the colors directly in the bottles and shake them up. This is the white. I don't have a lot of white left. But that silicone should help get it out of the bottle. So this is going to be kind of a random hodgepodge of colors because I'm just using what I have. And I'm going to try to kind of use up most of the rest of this, if not all of it. Some of these have a lot left in it, though, like this yellow. It's quite a bit. And yeah, this, I mean, the kit is okay. It wasn't very expensive, uh, and I think you can get it at Walmart and stuff, too. It's not, it's pretty good for beginners, but I just, overall, just wasn't really a fan. I don't really like the how it dried and it's okay it's not bad I will say that it's not bad you guys so just wasn't my favorite and I won't be buying another one but I do not like to waste paint I'm putting a few more drops of cell magic into the blue here and this cell magic is just silicone <laughs> it's not anything totally unusual And I now have oil all over my fingers because the bottle totally leaked. So not surprisingly, I primarily have warm colors left. A little turquoise. Oh, I have quite a bit of black left. So I know some of you don't like black. I think you're going to have to deal with it. Okay. I'm going to put some more cell magic in this yellow. I have a lot of yellow and red left primarily. And then we're going to do, I think I already said it, but we're going to do a flip cup. There we go. Flip it. Um, so let me know down in the comments if you've tried this kit and what you thought of it or if you've tried a different acrylic pouring kit or set. Uh, currently my favorite are the Arteza pouring acrylic colors. I think those are awesome. But it I, I use different paints depending on what I'm doing. So this so far looks really black, but don't worry. Remember there's quite a bit of silicone in there. I'm going to torch this. And look at that magic. This is primarily black, yellow, and red in here with a little bit of pink, green, blue, white. Okay, so that's fun. I'm going to go ahead and torch this one more time, and then I'm going to let it sit because you can tell that more cells are developing. Whoa. Yeah, if you do not like cells, then silicone is not for you. <laughs> All right, let's let it sit and then we'll come back in and do our close-up. Okay, we're back. So we have more cells here, definitely. And you can see the, the hints of like the blue and the green coming through. Definitely not my usual color scheme. 
and just something a little different. So let's go ahead and do a close up. Lower right hand corner, I like these little pink cells in here. Upper right hand corner, we've got some bigger cells in here. And you can see the pink. And over here, lots of little cells within big cells. There we go. Upper left hand corner, got some pretty cool lacing in there. And down to the lower left hand corner. So in here you can see the blue kind of coming through on some of those cells. There you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Something a little different because I pretty much never use silicone. <laughs> Let me know what you think down in the comments. And this would probably be a piece that I would embellish. So if you have any ideas for something that you think would be a cool embellishment on here, let me know. And I will see you all next time.